In this video, we'll explore how you can customize and run your own AI-powered writing assistant right in your web browser. Let's go. Hey folks, welcome to Build with Google AI, where we explore how you can build practical solutions with Google AI technology. Writing stories or any creative writing endeavor can be challenging. That blank page staring back at you, mocking your every attempt to fill it with words, your boss, Mr. Prendel, asking where last week's assignment is. Um, anyway, AI language models can be a really helpful tool for breaking you out of your writer's block and getting that assignment finished for Mr. Prendel. Enter WordCraft, an AI-powered story writing assistant. This app was built as a research experiment by the people and AI research team at Google. Here's a quick demo of the project. First, Fire up WordCraft in your browser and start a new story. No ideas? No problem. The interface gives you a starter idea to get you going. Use the story suggestion or add your own. Pick an idea and go. The app gives you a number of suggestions on how to start. Pick your favorite and edit it to fit the story you want to tell. WordCraft gives you a number of ways to add to your narrative. You can ask it to continue the current text, elaborate on a sentence, or rewrite sentences based on your instructions. Choose the ideas and approach you like, and then edit the language and build the story out bit by bit. Behind the scenes, WordCraft builds prompts for a language model and sends them to the Google Palm API. The language model generates ideas and text, and the app helps you select and integrate them into your story. What I like about this app is it feels more like writing and less like AI prompt management. Even better, the WordCraft team shared the app as an open source project, and it's surprisingly simple to customize it for your own use. I'll get to that a little later in the video, but first, let's talk to the folks that built WordCraft. All right, I'm joined today by Daphne Ippolito from Pittsburgh and Annie Coonan, who are contributors to the WordCraft project. Welcome and thanks for talking to me today. Thanks so much for having us. Yeah, thanks a lot, it's good to be here. My first question is, why would you build this? Uh, does AI actually make you a better writer? Yeah, I mean, the short version of the story of why we built WordCraft was to just see what was possible, right? We started this project years ago before LLMs were like a big thing in the world. And we really, really wanted to push the boundaries of kind of what you could do with this beyond just being a chatbot or sort of a text continuation thing. So, you know, we started playing around and we decided pretty early on that story writing was like a really great place to explore this because you know, it's fun, it's low risk, and it really kind of captures the weird spirit and energy of generative AI, right? They sort of give you all sorts of different viewpoints and remixes of ideas, and we really wanted to lean into those strengths rather than sort of hide them and try to do something really difficult. Yeah, and another big reason why WordCraft was interesting to work on is because it is really hard to make language models useful and not just a toy. So language models, these are the technology that underpins WordCraft and, and Google Bard as well. And they're really capable, but they're not actually always very easy to use. For example, if you wanted to get input on your story, you could ask Bard for suggestions on your story, but Bard isn't able to make edits directly to the story contents. You'd end up just having to copy and paste a lot between your story and the Bard input box. In contrast with WordCraft, our goal was to think holistically about the writing experience and what sort of user interfaces and workflows would allow writers to make use of this new and unfamiliar technology. So after building WordCraft, we wanted to test it with a real audience, not just software engineers like me and Andy. And so one of the things that was really cool that we did is we solicited feedback from both amateur writers and professional writers who actually write for a living. And we wanted them to tell us about their experience using WordCraft. And what we found was not too surprising. An AI-powered writing assistant doesn't automatically make you a better or a faster writer. Really, creative writing is a craft that takes people lifetimes to hone. But it can definitely be useful, especially for brainstorming and story ideation and for novice writers who are struggling to figure out how to continue and edit their stories. OK, next question. So how does WordCraft actually work? What's it doing under the hood? Yeah, in a nutshell, WordCraft is a user interface that wraps around Google's language model API to help you generate ideas and modify your story to make it better and insert new concepts into it. Behind the scenes, the app is generating prompts which get passed to the language model API. And then we parse the output from the API and we use that to edit the story, to make suggestions inside the story or to give feedback to the writer. 
And the prompt contains the pieces of the story needed to do whatever action the user requested. Okay, so next question. How can I extend WordCraft to work with my own writing projects? We actually built WordCraft to be really extensible, customizable. So all of the operations in the application, right, things like rewrite this sentence, rewrite this phrase, maybe come up with a new story, they're all uh, driven by a set of few shot examples in a JSON file. So each one has a set of examples that basically shows the model how to do that thing. So if you go into those configuration JSON files and change the examples to match your tone or your genre or your style, the model will more or less sort of follow in that pattern. Okay, so from what you've explained, you haven't actually built an AI language model, right? You're just building an application around it. So isn't this kind of cheating? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the beauty of being an AI developer right now, right? You have this incredibly powerful sort of underlying technology that you get to use and build amazing experiences on top of. And I think one of the key points of the WordCraft experience and you know, our sort of process of building this was that these models aren't magic. And it takes a lot of effort, intentionality, and sort of attention to detail to really build something around them that's useful and fun and interesting. Um, you want to make sure that the whole experience end to end is fast and is creatively satisfying because writers need that flow. They want the model to really work well for the things that they're trying to do. And it's your responsibility as a developer to really think that through, to give the model the information it needs to do its job very well and to integrate that into the application in a way that is both sort of fun, uh, fast, and useful. Yeah, I want to stress that language models are really only as good as the user interface you wrap them in. Even the best language model can be really bad at a task or really good at a task, depending on how you prompt the language model and how you phrase the task for it. And you can just see this in the fact that both WordCraft and the Bard chatbot are using the same kind of underlying language model technology, but the ways that you interact with them are very different. And so we're really hoping that the way that we've proposed for WordCraft of having this text editor where you can get suggestions from the model and sort of directly into the text is going to be really impactful across a variety of applications. And we're really excited to see how users end up taking advantage of it to become more productive and creative. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for being here and talk to me about the WordCraft project. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks so much for having us. It's coding time. Let's look at how you can extend WordCraft to help with your writing work. Don't worry about taking notes. There's a detailed tutorial linked in the description. As we mentioned earlier, WordCraft uses an AI prompting technique called few shot prompting, which gives the language model a few written examples to use as guidance for generating new content. The program comes with a bunch of pre-written examples, which are written in a pretty standard style. You can see an example of that style here. However, let's say I want to write a mystery thriller. For that kind of story, I want the main character to describe what's going on from their point of view as an internal monologue. To do that, I've opened up WordCraft's configuration file for new stories and rewritten the text. These new story examples use an internal monologue style and they read more like the beginning of a mystery novel. Now that I've saved these new examples, I can restart my modified version of WordCraft. And now my previous prompt for a new mystery story about Egypt gives me a different response. The output reads more like an internal monologue, which is what I was aiming for. You can use this configuration technique to modify how WordCraft generates content and make the AI language model write in a way that's closer to your style. Changing the prompt examples is the easiest way to modify WordCraft, but you can also add new writing functions. Let's say you want to have a new function for introducing characters into your stories. The first step is to create a bunch of prompting examples that show how you want to introduce characters. You do that by adding a new JSON configuration file with the examples in the app context JSON directory. I use the new story configuration file as my starting point. Next, add the new character prompt structure to the app context schema file. Define an operation type to help connect the prompt examples to the user interface and the prompt building code. Finish integrating the new character prompt examples by updating the app context index file. 
Now you're ready to add the user interface code for this new feature. In the app core operations directory, create a new character operation class. Now add the new operation to the app core operations index file and also register it with the app main file. Almost done. You're now ready to modify the AI prompt building code so WordCraft knows how to ask the language model to write these character introductions. First, define an interface for the prompt parameters by adding one to the app core shared interfaces file. Create a new prompt handler for the new character operation and app models prompts directory. Add the new character prompt handler to the app models prompts index file. And finally, add the new character prompt definition to the app models model file. Now you're ready to start WordCraft and try out the new character operation. This feature gives you an automated way to introduce characters to your story. Nice. Being able to extend the functionality of WordCraft opens up a lot of possibilities for building an AI powered writing assistant for whatever you want to write. Now, I know I skipped a lot of details, but that's why we have a complete tutorial linked below. Let's wrap this up. That's all the time I have to tell you about the WordCraft project. Thanks to my guests, Daphne and Andy from Google's People and AI research team. Links to the code project and a detailed tutorial on how to extend WordCraft are in the description. If you get some new functionality working, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I really hope this video gets you started building your own writing assistant and helps you and other writers be more creative and productive with AI. Keep learning, keep building, make something great. We'll see you again soon.